And joining us now live is the president of the Maryland Jockey Club, Tom Chukas, the man who has changed the nature <laughs> of the Preakness. And I say that with a great deal Look of respect. Look at you changing Tom, the name of it. Great to have you with us today. For those who don't know, let me take you back a little bit of the history. We talked earlier about the late Chick Lang, a man who opened the infields and made this the people's race. A couple of years ago, Tom, you faced a tough intersection. When this track, this race was at a crossroads, you decided to revamp the entire idea of the infield, the entire experience. The numbers plummeted for one year. Year. You brought in huge music acts, and now the record crowds are back, and this is a better experience than ever. Absolutely. I mean, we're very fortunate. We took a risk. We took a chance. The time had come that it had to. Um, I call it the wild, wild west, the lunacy. Right. And it's still the people's party today. It's still the people's race. But it, we just changed the culture. You see a little bit of an older demographic. And in addition, we put some things out to replace the lunacy. I mean, you go with the Bruno Mars, the train, Maroon 5. Lord. Yeah. Lord. Uh, yeah, the acts that you guys are bringing in are phenomenal. They are. And, and, you know, the Mug Club we put out there, people have criticized right. us, but we at least can control it. We shut a lot of people off. Right. And it's, it's kind of a controlled party. And everybody's better. I mean, you can see today, people will go out of the village and they'll go out there. Five, six years ago, no shot. Yeah, I mean, everybody bemoans the, the loss of the BYOB, but really, I think, it, I think it makes it a better event. Yeah, I was say, I, 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 really I, do. I certainly don't bemoan it. And I think anybody who's semi responsible realizes that it's not a, it had reached a point where it was no longer tenable. It, it, was, uh, it was getting ugly out there. Well, and, and one of the other, I guess, unintended consequences or benefits is the corporate sponsors came back, people were willing to associate their brand right. with our brand. And I mean, the perfect example is the tent over there, Long Jeans. We had tried for years prior to when it was kind of crazy out there. And a year or two ago, we brought them on board. And it's just a whole different attitude it really and is. atmosphere. Hey, how lucky are you today on the weather? <laughs> After yesterday, tell me about yesterday morning at 5.30. <laughs> yesterday morning, um, oh, I was man. in jeans, shoes, soaked to the bone, <laughs> baseball cap. As a matter of fact, I had to do five interviews yesterday around mid-morning. Oh, wow. And I told Mike Gathigan, our PR guy, I said, I'm not changing. I got too much to do. <laughs> so all the reporters are like, is that you? Is that you? I, I took my hat <laughs> off and I said, I'm keeping it on. I got hat hair. It was <laughs> dreadful. He, he, was, he was a working man. But let's talk about it the Black Eyed Susan's Day because the Preakness is no longer a one day event. It has become a weekend event. Yeah. Much like at Churchill Downs with the Kentucky Oaks with a huge crowd followed by the Derby. You seem to have followed that model and it is working extremely well. We have. We, we believe that Friday can be something special. We've targeted the female or the women demographic, right. Ultimate Girls Day Out, Women's Empowerment. Kate Amar is your single biggest fan after she experienced she it was, yesterday. She was. Yesterday she said, this is the best kept secret in Baltimore. And you want it to be not the best kept secret no, right. anymore. Well, and I mean, here's the other issue. The fact of the matter is, and this always gets a laugh, women make about 95% of the decisions in the world. That's right, we do. Your wife Oddly does, enough, they make 100% in okay. my house. <laughs> All right, I'll say 95. It gives me about that much hope. But it, it's an underappreciated, undervalued market. And you can start True. to see people coming back. Uh, we did Mariel Hemingway yesterday for a breakfast. She was fantastic. Mm -hmm. We did a fashion show. We target the music more to that sect, and, and we've gotten a really good response. And as they look more and more at this, I get more and more people coming out. Yeah, it's, I, well, she was really impressed with it. She said, I, I wish I'd brought my children. And it was that much Thank fun. Thank you. Tom Chukas, congratulations, continued success, and here's hoping for a fabulous Preakness this afternoon. Thanks, Jerry. Tom Chukas, president of the Maryland Jockey Club, the man who changed the shape of the Preakness.